I heard a reporter on TV said that there are no athletes giving back, doing good things. And I said, but you haven't talked to my job. I was uh, fortunate enough to be adopted by two loving parents. I was born in Milwaukee, Oregon, and all went back to Hawaii and grew up in Hawaii for really the first 10 years of my life. He says he had a great upbringing. As a mom, you can't get any better than that. Sports have always been in my life. My first passion was basketball. I just stopped growing vertically and started growing horizontally. Playing center, you're making all the calls for the offensive line from the very beginning. You can leave your fingerprint on a game. A lot of that's really kind of carried over outside of football, where I enjoy the responsibility of really providing opportunities for others. Hi, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, and welcome to the Buick Human Highlight Reel. We've gathered the stories of four former NCAA student athletes who have used what they learned on campus to make a positive impact in their communities. Coming up, we visit with a duo of former student athletes who are making a difference in young adults' lives by giving them the tools to succeed. Welcome back to the Buick Human Highlight Reel. Our next two former student athletes went on to play professionally for over 10 years in their respective sports, but their biggest impact is happening now, after the roar of the crowd has faded. These kids know how to survive. Being in a ton of terrible situations, these kids, no matter what, have found a way to survive. If they can just hone that ability and focus it on creating something of themselves, I think they're gonna really put themselves in a great position to be successful. Children who turn 18 in foster care, um, most of them are one to two years behind in school. They haven't completed their basic education. Many of them may end up in, in a, a multitude of houses. Nowhere to call home, nothing of their own. They have no employment skills. And then when they turn 18, these young adults are out of the foster care system and they essentially are on their own. They say good luck and uh, hope to make it. And that's something that I couldn't even imagine. I was fortunate enough to be adopted by two loving parents at the tender age of seven days old. I've always known her as my mother, I've always known him as my father, and I'm thankful for them. I always grew up with sports in the household, but I had to learn what was fun about football. You know, I almost quit my, my first week. My dad just convinced me, you know, just go out for one more week, just see where it might go, and just kept getting better and better. and, and, and College just started to notice. He was going to be a good football player anywhere he went. But when he decided that he wanted to go to Notre Dame, it was about the man that he was going to be four years later. Everybody knows Jeff as a football player and what he's done in the NFL. But what they don't know is that he's the big brother for the younger guys. He's the mentor. And it takes a unique individual to be that. A lot of that's really kind of carried over outside of football, where I enjoy uh, the responsibility of, of, of really providing opportunities for others. Jeff wanted to open a home for youth who needed a second chance, so we began planning the opening of the Fane House. The Fane House will be a safe haven. It will provide a home for 10 young men and women to complete their education, a connection to employment. I've been in foster care for about four years, and when you're turning 18, it's really hard. For people to want to do something like this for foster kids, I think it will benefit everybody. It really is going to give them basic skills that, that they need that they don't have when they're kicked out onto the street. Even if a thousand kids go through and you don't make a difference in 999 of those kids, if you can create an opportunity for that one kid, then all the time is completely worth it. We're creating an opportunity to transition these youth that have had a very challenging upbringing into very positive contributors to society. Some stability, a roof over their head, um, you know, is, is something that, that uh, we could provide and we're excited to provide. I heard a reporter on TV said that there are no athletes giving back, doing good things. And I said, but you haven't talked to my Jeff. My Jeff gives back all the time. He's building the Fane House. Thanks to the former NCAA student athletes who channeled the determination, the teamwork, and the leadership learned during their days of competition into helping those in need. I'm Ernie Johnson. Thanks for watching the Buick Human Highlight Reel.